Hi everyone, it's Mike here and Mr Bentley. So today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. While I was out walking Mr B this morning, um, we came across a little plot of land that was covered with um, little yellow buttercups. And I thought, hmm, I haven't attempted to paint buttercups. I've done daisies, I've done sunflowers, but I've never done buttercups. And I've also been thinking recently that I haven't really used those Tim Holtz Distress Crayons as much as I should have done, really, just to try and see what they can do. So I thought, well, how about trying to combine both? How about trying to do an abstract watercolour of buttercups using those Distress Crayons? So that's what I've done. So this is the result, and I will see you at the end. So these are the two sets of crayons I'm going to use. I'm only going to be using these two sets. I'm not using the naturals because I don't want any browns in there. I'm going to use the mustard seed and the twisted citron and the spice marmalade, which is this one here. And out of the other pack, I'm going to use the fossilized amber and the peeled paint only. So the card that I have taped to my workspace is a 200 pound or 400 GSM um, piece of watercolour card and it's just taped down with standard decorators masking tape and as you can see I am just going to wet the surface of the watercolour card before I begin. So at that point or at this point I just want to point out that I have never taken a watercolour lesson in my entire life. I've watched lots and lots of videos on YouTube on how to watercolour and it's one of those things that you can't learn to do it unless you physically do it and I really haven't had the time to be able to sit down and practice properly. Um, so I'm not trained at all, and it'll probably show through this, this video. Um, this is just purely an experimental abstract painting of buttercups. So, and it's an experiment to see whether or not the Tim Holtz Distress Crayons can be used for watercolouring. So, as I say, it's a trial and error experimental page by somebody who has no formal training in watercolouring whatsoever. So for the rest of this video there's not a lot more for me to say um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some music on, keep quiet and just let you see what happens when somebody tries to use these distress crayons for watercolours. You'd make your own mind up as to whether or not they're an adequate medium for watercolouring.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that little painting. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel before, you can do so by clicking the button just here. There. It's all from me and Mr. Bentley, who is now fast asleep. I will see you all again real soon. Bye for now.